You're six ingredients away from one of the best chickens you will ever make at home. If you've ever purchased a rotisserie chicken from a supermarket, if, and you're like me, you marvel at how tender the thing is. I mean, am I right? Oh yeah. You just pull them apart, they're delicious, they're fantastic. When I've tried to recreate them at home, they've, they've been good. They've not been fantastic until today. Now I know the secret. And I'm prepared to share the secret with you because unlike Max, I care about you. I am here for you. See what I did there? I'm driving a wedge between the audience and you and their love will naturally just come to me. All right, poll question. Are you Team Max or Team Sam? Oh, come on. That's not even fair. Are you Team Max or are you Team Sam? I'm saying it's not fair because they'll vote for me. I'm just saying it's not fair to pit us against one another. I don't doubt that the majority I do it jokingly. will vote for you, but we're going to find out what percentage get... of our awesome people out there are Team Max. Are you Team Max or are you Team Sam? F***ing be Team Sam. <laughs> Kidding. So here's what it is. It's very simple. The, look, there's a downside to everything. Everything. The only downside to this is it takes a little bit more time. Not in prep. Oh no, my friends, the prep's easy. In cooking, because we're gonna cook it low. This is essentially a slow roasted chicken. Now look, I know many of you have come up to me and told me the reverse seared steak has worked beautifully for you. You've become king of the steak in your home, your street, your neighborhood, your city, wherever, your burb, your town. And so if a lower cooked steak gives perfect results, it holds true that a lower cooked chicken should give perfect results. And that's what we're doing. And we start with a whole chicken in a bag from the store, just like you would get it so you can see exactly what I have to go through. Oh no, this is not some fucking Rachel Ray moment where this thing's already on a plate and her minions in the back have made it gorgeous. Taking out any extra little feather that wasn't plucked at the factory. That's not what we're doing. We're here warts and all, folks, so you can see exactly what you have to do. Let's get the chicken happy. Here's how we start. Chicken comes off, take our rack, put a couple layers of paper towels here, just like this, okay? Now we're gonna open this chicken. Look, this part is, is chicken. It's raw chicken and you, you just have to just be okay with it. It is what it is. It ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but if you're gonna cook a chicken, you have to do this. And out she will come. There you go, you got a chicken. Was that so bad? I don't think so. We're gonna dry it off, because that's how you want to start. But what you might not like is what you have to take out of the inside. And so you'll reach in, oh boy. And you're gonna come up with, ready Max? Uh. These pieces, which are, this is neck. We'll put them off to the side. Reach back in, and, oh. Do you know what this is? What's it look like? I, Say it. I have no idea. Well, if you knew that there was a uh, big artery coming into it, would that help you any more or less? What's that shape? Is it a dick? It's not a dick. What is I'll it? I'll give you a hint. I don't know. I don't know much about science. I'll give you a hint. A this heart? is not. Yes. Oh boom, God. Boom, 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 boom. That's a little heart. But a further discovery inside will turn up liver. And I don't know what that is, some gizzard or something. They couldn't have and why them. does it come like this? In case you want them? Exactly, because you want them. Because these pieces, well, look, I'm a fan of chicken livers for like other things, but, but like the, the neck and stuff like that are gonna make an amazing broth or gravy if you want. But we're gonna skip that today. So I'm just rooting around in here to make sure there's nothing else. And there's not. Look, I have a chicken on my hand. So once everything's out, then we just take the paper towels and we're gonna dry it really well all the way around like this. 
under the armpits, or the leg pits, or though these would be the armpits here. This whole thing. On the back. And then you take this bundle that you had it sitting on, you reach inside and you dry inside the cavity. Like this. And just give it a turn. You won't like this. Do you want to see it or do you want to turn away? <laughs> I want to turn away, but the people need to see it. So okay, so I'll sacrifice myself for them. I'm just drying, and then this happens. Oh. It's just bits. That's don't not to worry about. Now, the only other thing that I like to do is like this piece of fat here, I find completely unnecessary. So I'm going to cut this off. And if you just look, sometimes you see how this is here. I don't know what that was. <laughs> you got that? We'll get rid of that. And then you're good. Okay. Now we're set. Now we're ready to do some big, important things with this. But first I'm going to throw this out, wash my hands, and then we'll make the seasoning. Little bowl. We're going to put the following in. We're going to go two tablespoons of kosher salt. Lewis, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of black pepper. And then about a tablespoon of garlic powder and we mix. And by the way, this combination, you could just keep around for honestly, almost anything. It's perfect for everything. Now back to the chicken. Using a little avocado oil, we're going to give a light coating all the way around. And this is going to help our seasoning stick. So here we are in the back. We get the wings. Well, we get under the wings, the armpits, the thighs, the legs, everything is good. Now we season the back. And we're going to season quite aggressively and you're going to be very pleased at how great this simple seasoning makes everything. And turn it on its side, get the side of the legs here, lift up the wings. Don't leave any area untouched by the seasoning here. Now we're back up here onto the breast, the top side, we do this, even, 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 turn them up this way. And when you feel like you've done a nice job, then stand them up and put a bunch inside the cavity itself, because that will help make a very flavorful difference. And now here he is, or he, or whatever a chicken is. I guess a rooster, they're all girls, right? I think so. I think they're all girls, and a rooster is a boy. So before we give it a very quick truss, I want some lemon inside. So here's what I do. I take these little ends off, and then cut this guy in half. And then again, quarter it. And now these pieces just get stuffed right in here in the cavity. And you'll be surprised at how much this will perfume and give great flavor to this chicken. Now, now comes the important trussing part. You want to take the legs and the wings and keep them in. It just cooks better and more evenly. Okay. So here's what I have. I've got about two feet of string here. See this? Here's what I like to do. So this little thing called the Pope's nose, I like to go around that. That's just going to help that little piece come in and stay intact. My string back. And now this next part, I've never done particularly well. I was not a Boy Scout. I can't do that stuff. But the goal is very simple. All I want to do is I want to bring the legs together like this. Okay? It's simple, right? So if I come under here, this is the way I do it. I don't think that this is even makes sense to anybody but me, but that's all I want, right? And once I've got that, then I'm just going to go here with a double turn, cinch it tight, one more knot, take my little knife, cut it off. The only thing left to deal with are the wings. 
If you don't do anything with the wings, when it finishes cooking, they're going to be out like this. Like uh, like someone flying. Superman? Like Superman. Actually, Superman's arms would be forward. Superman's arms would be Dude, forward. No, no, the other way. This way? Yeah, facing out. It's, rid it's all ridiculous. <laughs> this is the moment when I'm playing with the arms and the legs, the wings, or whatever's going on here, that I start to feel bad about this animal that was at one point clucking around a yard, having fun with, with her friends, and then this happened. I do feel good that there were no hormones added, that she lived a cage-free life. And yes, we are the top of the food chain, so I'm okay with it. But, but, but this is the moment that I think my responsibility is to cook this as good as I can, the best way possible. And that's what we're teaching you. But here, let's deal with these wings. Here's the easy thing to do. Come back. So the easy thing to do is just take these guys and tuck them under like that. And then this guy goes like this. Okay, there you go. Now they're going to stay like that. Now look what you've got. From the top, you've got one beautiful little bundle. Okay, this guy's done. It's ready. You know, from this angle, <laughs> sorry, this angle, it looks like a prisoner with his hands tied behind its back, doesn't it? But you can't get too much in that mindset or you'll never eat, you know, animal protein again. That being said, here's the good part. My oven is on to 300 degrees. Yes, I will admit it's low. And this is going to take, well, this is about a five pound, five and a quarter pound chicken. It's going to take anywhere from two and a half to three hours. When it's about 160-ish degrees in the breast, you can pull a kid out and let it uh, rest for, you know, 20 minutes, half hour, loose the cover. It's going to be so good. But that's why you have a good a digital instant read thermometer. There'll be one in our, uh, what's the list called? Our holiday gift guide. Our holiday gift guide uh, in the description. Look, I used to be a uh, expensive thermometer guy and I think this guy's 18 bucks. This you can give happily and know you will absolutely be improving somebody's food life. And if you don't give a shit about anybody else, give a shit about you and get one. We don't care if you get the one that's on our gift guide, just get one, right? <laughs> Huge difference. Okay, when we come back, this kid's ready and I'm excited. And after cooking and the requisite amount of resting, wow. Hello, sweetheart. Look at you. Look how gorgeous. I love this. And the smell. The delicious chicken, lemony, seasoned everything. Can I take it off? I'm going to take it off. Hey, 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 hey. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. You know what I meant to do? I forgot. Inside. Okay, you got to watch this. Ready? It's hot still, but watch. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Ah, my fingers. Ah. Ah. That's enough. That's all I could do. That's all I could do. That's all I could do. Okay, let's remove the handcuffs. That's off the Pope's nose. And now here, watch this, Max. I'm gonna go right here. You see how this moves, this joint moves so easily. So I'm gonna cut here. You good? Yep. Oh, sh snakies. Look, this will just, this will basically just pull apart. If I go here, oh, oh God, it's so hot. It's so hot. Let me try this guy. Look at that. You're going to get just past this ball joint here and look how it separates. Okay, dark meat. I mean, this is insane. 
the juiciness here. Oh, can I eat it? Hello, lemon. Hello, perfect seasoning. Hello, juicy, amazing tenderness. Look right here. This is the, the leg and the thigh, right? The fact that you can just do that, push it apart, and that the meat, look at the meat just, it falls off. And why is it falling off like this? Because we, the lemon is insane. Because we cooked it low, because it's a slow roasted chicken. Look, the most notoriously dry part of a chicken is, Max? The breast. The breast, yes. Poor kid's always scared to answer. But come check out this breast right here. Here's what I like to do. I like to take the breast off whole. The breast bone runs down the middle. So you try and find it and go just to the side of it. And then we're going to cut down the breastbone and turn. And now, if I could do this, ow, and come across the bottom of it. Watch. The breast comes off in one piece. And look at what you've got. And the way to serve a breast, I think, is like this. And you cut pieces that are like that. And these are juicy, crazy, freaking tender with tons of ow, hot moisture. Shit. It's crazy. I don't like white meat. I don't like white meat. I like dark. This is for you. Me. Oh, shit. There you go. Speak loud enough that the people can hear you. Wipe your hands on here. Shit, it's so juicy. It's... Look, I could have carved this up all gorgeous and Norman Rockwell-like, and I didn't fucking do that, because we just had to do this. But I'm telling you, you won't buy a deli roasted chicken from a supermarket unless it's an emergency. Again, you will not. What do you need? Six ingredients. One of them was uh, avocado oil. One of them was salt. One was pepper. One is garlic powder. Those you already have. The only question marks are a chicken and a lemon. That's it. That's it. Okay, so how do we end this? From uh, me to you. Oops. From me to you. Uh, we're getting close to the holidays. Uh, check out uh, the description below for links to our merchandise. Start cooking more if you're not cooking now. Make food that, that you can, sorry. Make food for people you love. This is perfect for this time of year. I say you make two. You have one for dinner tonight, and then you have one for the next few days. Chicken salad, tacos, egg rolls, everything. See you. Thanks for hanging out with us.